Thank you for clicking the link. Adult Smith called. Yaku. And this is his workshop. Um, in all of the content that you see, I I really just make jewelry. So hopefully in today's video, you you pick up something that teaches you. This is the the whole purpose behind me making these videos are for people to learn something that they haven't seen before, as I do when I watch other videos and find inspiration for making jewelry, which is what we do. I'm a goldsmith and I've been doing this for many, many years. So if I can share something, then I'm happy to do so. And the medium I'm using is video. So a nice little platinum ring today. It's got a round diamond in the center, four claws and a kind of a halo setting that goes around that, but not quite a halo. Got a nice gallery at the bottom. Um, Anyway, good fun to make, good result at the end, enjoy. I'm just going to start by cutting these claws off. It's the simplest way for me to get the stone out. Do check with your customer if they want to retain the setting and perhaps use a different color stone or sentimental purposes. In this case they didn't. Strip of platinum, I'm only estimating this because I'm going to melt it down and make a big blob. So if, if, if I need to melt platinum, I just use the back of crucibles. I mean, they take the beating for some time before they crack. So if you've never melted platinum before, this, this stuff gets hot uh, so much so that you can't look at it. You have to use some sort of eye protection. It's tinted. I know you get these crucibles that you can cast platinum in, but I've never, never tried those, never needed to. Always been happy with these. Man, I've had this roller for, well, for as long as I've made jewelry. <laughs> it's not in the best shape, but it does exactly what it's supposed to do. I just can't find my heart to part with it. These tweezers, I have, uh, I think they're titanium or tung tungsten, I can't remember. They've got another metal fused onto the front of it. This is methylated spirits that I'm using. Um, I've made a whole video on that. And this is a big old valve that's been grinded down. Many of finger shots over the years. Now I want a cushion shape, but I'm going to start off by cutting a square so I can mark it. Once I've marked the square, I know exactly how to file the cushion. Say what? Yes, that is a handle that's made from a champagne cork and subsequently I'll be saving all the champagne corks that I can find because it works fantastic. I've marked the dimensions of, or the corners at least, and traced it out with a scribe. And now I'm filing in the shape of what I'm looking for. I'm just going to put a slight dome on top of this top piece because I want the diamonds to be sort of half presented and not flat. Nothing too serious. And I'm just doing a quick inspection to make sure that the uh, angle is correct. Just finding that middle point again, reinforcing it. And I'm dividing the diamond size by two and using the divider to trace where the diamond potentially will be lying. Then I'm using the same divider to just mark out where the small diamonds are gonna go in and I've flattened the bottom of it. Because it was uh, domed, it's got four points that will stick out a little bit further. So we've got to flatten that out. Pepe Tools, good stuff, good quality, American-made uh, tool manufacturer, check them out. Nice folks, 
good quality tools. Very happy with it. The disc cutter is used to cut this little disc. I'm going to be using that to do the gallery at the bottom. I'm doming that out so to match the uh, top. So we've got a square and a round there, but I'll explain in due course. I'm quickly cutting the outer shape of the gallery. And once I'm done with that, I'm not doing the inside. You know, once you've done this, there's not a lot of time to, once you've put it together, to go back into this. So this is the point where you really spend time refining what you're doing. You want it as close as perfect as you can possibly get it. This technique of soldering is called sweating. I'm dropping some solder into pre-made pre holes for, that I used a ball phrase to drop into the material. I just file the sides slightly out and then hammer them in so that the gallery forms around the cushion. I'm using the superior ring bending tool from Pepe Tools again to form the actual ring. I cut the excess off. And then form the ring that will sit on the inside. I fuse the platinum together. So we've got no soldering marks over there. And then pre-work it off. Adding the wire to the gallery at the bottom and then a hole through the center makes it easy for me to determine exactly where it should lie. Since I've done a lot of fusing on this ring, I'm going to be using platinum hard solder to solder this first solder. The ring is pre-polished so that I don't have to go in there with sandpaper afterwards and get rid of scratches. It helps a lot with a final polish. You'll still need to polish it again, but And here I believe I was using a medium platinum solder. Now the GRS Benchmate is an absolute lifesaver. This thing's amazing. I can keep my tools stationary and turn it and get absolute symmetry on this thing. I keep on enlarging that center hole until I get to the point where the diamond seated. I've soldered those claws in. I actually didn't do a center, center round setting for this. That's all carved in from the solid. I'm carving away the gaps between the, where the diamonds would go now. So to split them up and that's it. And that's the result. Platinum is an absolutely amazing material. 
it gives you an incredible reflection on the metal. Thank you very much for watching the video right until the end again it's an absolute pleasure to make these videos i'm learning a lot by doing so and i'm hoping that you're taking something from this as well uh, there's instagram as well i should mention yaku the jeweler a lot of communication goes down there and i'm happy to answer your comments uh, or questions of the comments as well and suggestions too i'm learning a lot as i'm going along thank you for watching again and until next time wait there's that like and subscribe thing. I don't like saying that too much, but you know what it's all about. We have to uh, we have to process this machine. We have to work it, and it picks up on these little things, bell icons and things like that. So if you possibly can, tell a friend, share a video. It all helps. See you next time. <laughs>